Early meiosis looks very much like early mitosis. We have our spindle poles moving round to separate and we have our chromosomes, our DNA all bundling up and getting ready to divide. One difference is that before they start dividing into new cells, what they're going to do is they're going to find their pair. So say here the purple ones are from the, the, the male parents and the, the orange ones are from the female parents. So chromosome 1 from the mum and chromosome 1 from the dad are going to find each other and line up. They are going to duplicate their chromosomes. So here we can have four chromosome number 1 from the mother, from the father, and they've each been duplicated. What they can then do is swap little bits of their um, chromosome. So you can see here that the um, purple end has been swapped over with the orange end. This is just to increase diversity in things. They are then going to line up and each pair of chromosomes is going to be connected to a spindle pole and they're going to get pulled apart. This is where we have a big difference with mitosis because instead of each arm of the chromosome going to each side, we have a whole chromosome pair going to each side. This will then start to separate out into two new cells. The spindle that pulled them apart is going to disassemble and we're going to get two new cells formed. Each cell is only going to have one copy of each chromosome. Some of these chromosomes are going to be from the mother and some of these chromosomes are going to be from the father. Each of these two new cells are going to form a spindle. The chromosomes are again going to get attached to the spindle and line up down the middle. And then the chromosome arms are going to get pulled apart. So each new cell is going to end up with one chromosome arm. In the end, what you will end up is four different haploid cells.